Well, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit, okay? All right. So this is about Christmas, and let me be the first to say, have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and may the upcoming year be exactly what you would hope it to be okay all right so this video I'm gonna title a Christmas gift and I have my notes okay so I will be looking down and reading you some of my notes from time to time today okay because I have a lot to say today okay and you don't want to miss it no 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 okay so the title is a Christmas gift so, you know, we all think that when it's time for us to um, celebrate Christmas that we must run out and spend lots of money, whether we can afford it or not afford it, on gifts, right? And this is the icing on the cake. A lot of times the gift we get to give to others they don't even want it. It's not what they wanted. It's not what they wish for. And they're just hoping that, you know, you would have gotten them this or you would have gotten them that. And so you, you're trying to show love and you're trying to give what you can afford to give or what you feel in your heart you want to give. And they're looking at it as, ah, oh, a pair of slippers, a, a, a nightgown. I already got a nightgown. So, you know, sometimes um, that's not what people are looking for, right? And of course, yes, everybody wants to receive. But can everybody give financially, mentally, physically? Are you up for it? You know, if you spend all this money, does that put you into a depressed mode? All of these factors play into this word called Christmas, okay? So I have some helpful hints. Just helpful hints. If this is for you, great. If it's not for you, great. I just have to put it out there so that it may help someone. It may not help you, but it may help someone, okay? I hope it helps a lot. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? Okay. So, maybe you can't afford a gift, and maybe you should just say that straight out. You know, you can say it over the phone, you can send them a Christmas card and say it. Say, hey guys, I love you, I love your family and everything, I love all my nieces and nephews and everything, but this year, we can't afford to give gifts. Okay, so we're hoping that you understand and we want to celebrate Christmas in another way. Okay, so let's get into some of those ways. All right, so you can tell others that please don't buy me and my family gifts. Take that money and take care of you and your family and tell them that that's from us and we'll do the same in, in on our end. Don't give us nothing and we're going to do the same. And then that way they're, fa they're able to spend more on what they need to do for their immediate family and so could you. How about that? That's a good idea, right? Okay, so now explain to others about your financial hardship if you feel you want to let them know okay you can say hey guys you know uh, things hit us really hard this year um, my rent went up or so-and-so uh, lost their job or the cost of food went up or um, we're just not able to make ends meet this year so we're not going to be celebrating Christmas and giving gifts and I hope you all understand maybe next year okay how about that huh I think that's a, a good way to let people know where you are in life you know a lot of times 
we're ashamed to let people know our position in life because everybody wants to level up with everybody else. But we're all not on a level plane, right? You may have been on a level plane in your past, but maybe now you're not on that same uh, platform. Or maybe in the past um, you was able to see yourself through Christmas and maybe you saved up for it, but now times is to the point where you don't have the finances to do that, okay? I think it's okay to let them know because then from that point on, they understand where you are financially and, and that you're trying to take care of you and yours because the most important thing is you take care of you and yours. And if you spend your rent money or your gas money or something and you um, buy gifts with it and now you got to worry about how you're going to catch that rent money up or the gas money or something like that, you're going to regret that. You know, you're going to wish you didn't do that. So why do it? Just stop that in the first place, okay? I'm going to hopefully help you with other ways that maybe you can contribute, okay? If the shoe fits you, wear it, okay? All right. So now, let's go on. Okay, maybe you can give the gift of helping someone pay their gas bill or light bill instead of a bunch of gifts. How about that, huh? And don't just give the money in that person's hand. Make sure that you send that money, get their account number, and send that money directly to the gas company or the light company. Because that could really, really help. You know, you could maybe help them so that their lights don't get cut off or the gas don't get cut off or they can stay warm. You know, something like that, right? That's really more economical than maybe a bunch of, um, I don't know, other gifts or toys that uh, really is not going to help sustain them. And that's the whole idea here is to try to really, really put some help behind the word Christmas. Okay, okay, so let's move on. Maybe you can buy a gas card for the car, for the whole family. The whole family got a ride in the car, right? So maybe you can do that. You know, maybe someone's struggling and they can hardly pay for the gas to get back and forth to work. What about that? That could be a nice gift for Christmas, okay? And you can even, let's say you're going to give $50, I don't know. You could even get a $10 gas card for each person in the house name. $10 for Joey, $10 for Susan, so forth and so on, so that everybody gets something, okay? And uh, send that on over there because the whole family can use that, right? Okay, so let's move on. What about someone paying someone's cell phone bill? Oh, I'm sure they'll love that one now. Mm -mm. Oh, yes, they'll love that one. So that they can keep that going. Because if they don't have a cell phone, how do they stay in touch with the family? How do they stay in touch with you? How do they stay in touch with maybe their work or their doctor? You know, that's really, really important, right? The cell phone. Now, that's a good one, okay? And you don't have to have their account for that one. You can go to Walmart or Walgreens. They have uh, card gift cards now, and you can get one for the cell phone company. Or, or if they don't have that, you can get a prepaid visa. But if you get the prepaid visa, make sure you get the one that is just a one-time fee, not every time they use it. I think it's called, uh, it's one called One Vanilla or Vanilla One. I forget. One of those. I think it's One Vanilla or One Vanilla. Okay? Either one of those words. One Vanilla or Vanilla One. They charge $4.95 and that's it. You pay that up front and there's no more fees. Now that's a real good one. 
it is not a preloadable card so you can't um, not preloadable you can't reload onto it okay whatever you put on it that's it when that's done you gotta go get another one okay but at least you can um, do things that way right okay so let's see uh, maybe you can bake a cake or a pie or something like that right uh, and take that over there. The whole family can enjoy that. So you can see where I'm going with this, right? There's many, many options other than the traditional, I got to run and buy gifts. I can't tell you how many times I used to run to the store and buy gifts. Oh, would they like this? Would they like that? And when I finish with all of that, okay, they didn't like none of that okay because they didn't pick it out and so that's not what they wanted so I ended up giving them the, re the receipt anyway and then they would take it back and get what they wanted anyway so you might as well just don't even go through those exercises and solve the problem in another way okay all right what about this given a family a invitation to come to your house for a dinner okay or a social night okay and you don't have to do it before Christmas because remember this is when you're spending all this money and and you don't have it maybe okay so give them an invitation and with a date on it and everything to come to your house for dinner maybe in uh, February you know and uh, when they come over there you can um, have a nice dinner and conversation and get in touch with each other that's a good idea right another thing you can do is let's say if they have children and you don't want the children to feel like um, they didn't get anything for, for Christmas because they really don't care nothing about the bills and stuff like that to them Christmas is time to collect up on gifts well you can give each child a invitation to come to your house come spend a day with auntie or uncle or miss so-and-so on such and such a date at such and such a time and make sure you keep that date and time oh that child would be so so happy to come over and spend time with you and you can do it where each child get their own invitation that way nobody feels left out and everybody have this special moment with you how about that huh that's a good one okay and what about giving a food gift card that's really really good right and if you're going to do that one you know you might want to do that maybe a couple of weeks or a week before christmas so that they'll be able to utilize that card for christmas dinner okay okay so uh i just want to end on this uh video and i will be doing part two on this video so that uh, you all can understand or maybe get some ideas of where you want to go with your ideas or your gift or your no gift or whatever you want to do to make someone smile. And on that note, hit the thumbs up if you like it, share the video with others, and please subscribe, okay? All right, so I'll talk to you soon. And before I go, let me just say this. I am changing the time that I upload every day. I was uploading at 6 a.m. So now I'm going to change that to upload at 4 p.m. So you can look for me at 4 p.m. every day in the place of 6 a.m. Okay, it will st YouTube will still run the video throughout uh, the day, but I just wanted you to know because I always have to 
uh, inform you of whatever I'm doing because we're in this together, right? Okay, so I'll see you every day at 4 p.m. Or you can catch me whenever I'm sure you'll be notified because you have your notification button on, right? Okay, talk to you soon. Merry Christmas. Okay, bye.